Hey there. I've seen a lot of questions from uh, new HUD editors in the community, which welcome to the community, but I wanted to create a resource to answer some of the common questions that I've seen floating around. So a very common one is, uh, how do I edit so-and-so HUD element? Uh, and so I wanted to show how to find those HUD elements. So to provide an example, uh, I know that in my HUD, when I have MVM canteens, they're broken. So down here, you can see that my canteen HUD element is getting cut off and I want to fix it. But to fix it, I need to know what element to work on. How I would approach this problem is, first of all, I would use a HUD reference such as Gerardi King's TF2 HUD reference, which you can find just by Googling Gerardi King TF2 HUD reference. So from here, I would go to master list of all files, and then the uh, skill that you'll pick up on is sort of the naming convention of these things. Uh, I know it's called canteens, so I would search for canteen, and I would find it's HUD item effect meter power at bottle dot res. Or if you're more visually inclined, there's another resource by Raven, uh, which is very similar, but it has images alongside the text descriptions of this. So I could scroll down until I find what I'm looking for, which just so happens to be this. And again, uh, HUD item effect meter power at bottle dot res. So from there, you can navigate to your HUD folder. You can get to it by going to your Steam library, right-clicking on TF2, Manage, Browse Local Files. That'll bring you to your Team Fortress folder, then go to TF, Custom, your HUD. Uh, in this case, I'd go to Resource, UI, HUD Item Effect Meter, Power Up Bottle Res, open it with Notepad++. Now, while those references are great, they're not necessarily entirely comprehensive. Uh, so if, for example, I couldn't find the canteen in that list, then something else I could do is access the draw tree, uh, which, first of all, you want to make sure you have SV underscore cheats set to 1. Uh, but once you have SV cheats set to 1, you can go VGUI underscore draw tree 1. And that'll pull up this menu on the right. And you can press highlight selected. And then you can navigate these drop downs here. You can also expand this. Uh, it'll be more useful later. But you go to the drop downs and then you just navigate these drop downs until you highlight what you're looking for. So in this case, if I highlighted engine tools, this is actually just the draw tree, uh, which isn't super useful to me. So I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to go down the other path, which is the static client DLL panel, TF root panel, C base viewport. Uh, and then I know I would be looking for something along the lines of HUD item effect meter, which would be the streak. That's not what I'm looking for. So then I'd highlight the other one. And that is what I'm looking for. You can see the red box around it. That's how I'm looking to highlight things. You can see one of the downfalls of this method is that it just narrows it down to HUD item effect meter. So it is narrower, but it might not necessarily hand me the answer like those TF2 HUD references would. If I set SV underscore cheats to zero, and then I try VGUI draw tree one, you can see it's blocked. But if you actually just go plus VGUI underscore draw tree, it'll still pop up. So if you're looking for something in casual, for example, that's a way to do it. So to provide a little bit more complicated of an example, so you can see how I would navigate it, I'm going to go through something that is uh, quite complicated. So if I go through the kit fabricators, uh, and when you inspect one of these, I know it's a pretty deep HUD element. So I'll go ahead and navigate through this how you might navigate through it. So static DLL panel, game UI panel, because this is uh, in a main menu element, and I know that. Character info tends to be the stuff related to backpacks. Sheet, again, tends to be the stuff related to backpacks. 
character info sub panel this is the only place I can go. Uh, if I navigate through a bunch of these, you can see none of that looks like the stuff that I'm looking for. So then backpack panel, that sort of highlights this general area. So I navigate through that. Uh, this still doesn't look like it lines up with anything that I'm looking for. It's because a lot of the inventory panels are drawn on top of each other. So then if I continue going through here, I eventually find dynamic recipe panel seems to contain the stuff that I'm looking for. So now if I hover over some of these items, you can see these do look like something that I'm looking for. Uh, but how do we actually find the files to edit the stuff in here? Something we can do is we can look for something that sounds unique to this sort of item. Uh, so next input page label or current input page label sounds pretty unique. Previous input page button. Let's go ahead and search for previous input page button. So in Notepad++ as well as a lot of other text editors, you can press Control Shift and F. And then we can go uh, previous or prev input page button and you can select the directory to search in usually it's what you're already in so that's uh, HUD resource UI and then you can press find all and from here you can double click on that and you can see we're in dynamic recipe panel previous input page button uh, and that looks like where we want to be hopefully this answered your question uh, if it doesn't answer your questions and you are still struggling to find stuff, another resource that you can fall back on is the friendly people on the huds.tf discord server. If you just google huds.tf discord, one of the first results will be a discord link to the server. You just click on that. It'll take you to the discord and then from there you can go to HUD questions and ask the lovely people in here. Uh, they're usually very willing to answer questions they'll be more than happy to help you. So yeah, later.